right, so we wanted to mention something that you might have overlooked or not thought about. And that is where the sewer, electric, and water hookup are placed on your individual site. So Action. All right, so this is one example of the setup for the power and sewer as well as the cable. So come on over here and we'll show you. So as you can see on this site, you have your power, your cable, and your sewer right here all together, pretty much in the center of the pad. And as you can tell in this particular site, the, all the hookups, including the sewer, the water, the electric, the cable, are all pretty much centered on this pad. So you got the back corner, and then like here, yeah, and then you got the front. All right, guys, we're going to just show you a couple examples from where we were at the 1100 loop where everything was centralized and everything was on one pole, which is electric, cable, and water. Okay, on this particular site, we are in the 300 loop right now. So we're just showing you, you have your water here, you have your sewer here, and your electric is separate back here. Now, anytime you have an electric pole like this, your cable is going to be on it, on the back side of it. So the reason why we're showing you all this, guys, is because we want you to be prepared. Always have that extra cable line. Always have that extra 30 amp extension or 50 amp extension or even a longer water hose, depending on where your hookup is in your unit. Because we're going to show you a little bit more that sometimes we see the electric here at the fort all the way in the corner. So we're just going to show you a little bit of examples and we just want you to be prepared. So let's go on to the next. All right, and this is another setup you can come across here at the fort. So we wanted to show you guys so you can be prepared. So on the site we just showed you, you saw the setup of the sewer versus the water and the electric. And on this site, you'll see that the water hookup is here. Look how far the sewer is from the water and then not only that then you have the electric all the way in the back so like always they have the 30 the 50 amp and then the regular outlets and the cable is back here too so we just wanted to show you guys this. So you got your electric, then your sewer. All right, so guys, what we're just trying to say is be prepared. It doesn't matter where you go. You could be here at the fort or you could be at a national park with hookups. Yeah, if it has one. Yes. Always be prepared. Bring your extra hose, bring your extra coax, bring your extra 30 amp and 50 amp extensions and even sewer line and you'll be prepared for any park. That's right, because we have come across this before mm -hmm. and we actually in California had to go out and buy extra sewer hose because ours was too short. Yeah, every RV is different. Their hookups are in different locations. So are the hookups at the park. So just be prepared guys. We always keep extra everything in our RV for any park that we run into. Right. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps somebody. Mm -hmm. And until next time, we hope to see you. If it's gotta be a park, it's gotta be a campground. We hope to see you here at the fort. Take care, guys. Bye.